Ecosystems. I'm sure this is a word we've heard so many times in the tech industry. Now, what exactly is an ecosystem? It's a collection of devices, especially from a particular company, that come together and function very seamlessly. An example of this is the most popular ecosystem out there, the Apple ecosystem. You have your iPhone, your AirPods, your Mac, your Apple Watch, and so on and so forth. But today we're not talking about the Apple ecosystem. As some of you might know, I have quite a number of Samsung devices myself. I have the Gear S3 Frontier, which I'm wearing. I have my Note 9 and the Galaxy Buds. And today we're gonna to be answering the question, is the Samsung ecosystem worth it? Stay tuned to find out. Hey there tech heads, welcome back to the channel. And before we go further into the video, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. So it would really mean a lot if you smash that subscribe button and help us get there quickly. Now, with all that said, stay tuned and let's get into the video. Kicking off with the Gear S3 Frontier, it pairs really well with Samsung devices as it offers a lot of functions, such as allowing you to pair your Bluetooth headset directly with the watch, store music locally on it, and a couple of underrated features like having One UI as its skin, having an always on display, and having Samsung Pay amongst the other typical Android features. If you haven't seen my video on why you need a smartwatch in 2020, check out the iCard above. Moving on to the Galaxy Buds or Buds Plus if you have those, these are some of the best Bluetooth earbuds on the market. They pair seamlessly to your Galaxy device or Samsung smartwatch and they've got a lot of useful functions like reading out the name of a caller when you've got an incoming call, reading out notifications if you want, ambient sound mode and a lot more which I went into in my Galaxy Buds Revisited video. Link to that is in the iCard above. Now what ties them all together? The nucleus of an ecosystem. The smartphone. Any Samsung smartphone could be used as the main hub of an ecosystem, but I think you'd get more satisfaction from a flagship phone as they tend to get updates and the newest features faster. Features such as wireless power share, quick share, call and text on other devices, smart view, and many, many other features. Another great feature present in some Samsung devices is Samsung DeX, which basically allows you to turn your phone into a PC when you connect it to an external monitor. It could be a laptop, a TV. It doesn't even have to be a Samsung product. And speaking of Samsung products, there are definitely way more than I've just mentioned. We still have tablets and laptops. And on the tablet side, you can't go wrong with one of Samsung's higher end tablets like the Tab S6 or the S7, which come with the S Pen, beautiful AMOLED displays, good processors, good cameras, basically whatever you need a tablet for media consumption and note taking. And Samsung's tablets are really good at note taking because any note you take on your tablet is synced to your other Samsung devices via Samsung Notes as long as you're logged in with your Samsung account. And as for the laptops, Samsung has been working really closely with Microsoft to make their devices as compatible with Windows as possible. Evidence of that is the link to Windows option in the notification shade and OneDrive replacing Samsung Cloud. But if you do want to go all out and get the Galaxy Book Flex, you get a compact touchscreen laptop with a beautiful sleek design, great build quality, a good processor, a stylus, fingerprint sensor, an amazing display, great speakers tuned by AKG, and even wireless power share built into the touchpad in case you're using an external mouse. So just listen to all the features you've got in this device. Granted, it's not perfect, but I feel it's the best you can get from Samsung at this point. So who is the Samsung ecosystem for? Well, if you love great hardware and you want feature packed and customizable software, then you can't go wrong with Samsung's ecosystem. But the main question is, is it worth it? Well, after using this ecosystem for a couple of months, I can definitely say it is worth it most of the time. Now, I say most of the time because there are a couple of minor annoyances here and there, such as the fact that flagship phones only get two years of major software updates, which is being changed with the Note 20 and 20 Ultra, but only two years of major software updates. The tablets probably get one or two years. I'm not sure about that. The watches are maintained much longer because my 2016 Gear S3 Frontier um, currently runs the most recent version of Tizen OS which is incredible. But the problem is Tizen OS is, um, it has a very big lack of applications. It's not like Wear OS. The Galaxy Store is not really packed with applications for your watch. So your watch feels quite barren, if I might say. 
So yeah, um, all these things are, you know, considerations you need to have before diving into the Samsung ecosystem. But if I was to give a definite answer on if this ecosystem is worth it or not, then I would say, yeah, it's worth it. Definitely. The hardware is incredible. The software could use a bit of work, but I mean, aside from Google's ecosystem, I would say Samsung's ecosystem is definitely the best on the Android side of things. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you haven't done that already. Also, please make sure to check out my previous videos. I have a lot of videos on the channel and I would love it if you were to check some of those out as well. So please make sure to follow me on social media. My handles are gonna be in the description below. And if you feel like you wanna support the channel even further, I'm gonna have a link to buy me a coffee in the description box below in case you wanna support me even more directly. Also, if any of the products in this video interested you, please make sure to um, buy them using any of the links in the description below as well, as it goes a long way in helping me personally at no cost to you. Thank you. And um, yeah, with all that said, you stay cool, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.